anatomy botox the frontalis muscle okay so frontalis muscle uh, so i'm going to explain how we're going to be doing um in gen generally how we do botox okay so um this is the muscle which is actually helping us to uh, lift and move the eyebrows so um unfortunately we get horizontal lines when we move too much and we like to get a little treatment with the neurotoxin in particular with the botox because i love botox um, i'm going to show you how we're going to do injections in this particular case okay so lift up the eyebrows for me big time lift it up okay look you see those all these tiny lines it does she doesn't have too much but she has a beautiful arch we like to preserve so forehead muscles okay so botox anatomy so it's going to be in the forehead okay so we're going to have a few injection points right here okay so right in the middle so that will help her not to get the eyebrows heavy but it's going to help her to um, soften the lines in the forehead okay so frown lines so frown line forms from big time okay so and we're going to have the first injection here okay so and frown again big 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 okay so you can see how much strength she has in her muscles so we're going to inject in the belly of the corrugator and in the tail of the corrugator as well too okay so same on the other line on the other side right there okay so those are going to be our me uh some main injections to lift up the eyebrow to to really to create a very very beautiful arch okay so let's move now to the crossfit okay so crossfit uh those are the lines which we usually can see at this quite very early age uh and what we like to do when we place the botox uh so when we place the botox in the orbicularis oculus so this is the orbicularis oculi muscle so what it does so it actually it's it holds the muscle in place and it doesn't help it helps you not to produce all these fine lines around the eyes okay so squint for me big time big time okay and relax okay so this is the injection which we call a brow lift injection okay so this is actually the injection with which help you to lift the eyebrow and it's going to create a beautiful arch okay so for the brow lift we use two um, two muscles, so it's going to be orbicularis oculi. So one is going to be lateral brow lift, and then we're going to use two injections of the um, of the medial brow, and that that is going to help us to create a beautiful, beautiful arch in the eyebrow. Okay, so two injections, uh, two injection sites for brow lift. Okay, so then we're going to do another injection. So about one centimeter from the corner of the eye. So and it's going to be one injection right here and then we will do it just a tiny bit right there so that will help you when she smiles smile for me big like smile smile okie dog yay <laughs> so when she smiles uh then we're going to have this beautiful beautiful soft line okay so now uh general so many of our clients uh they do have a pronounced jelly roll which um which creates a little bit of the pillow under the eyelid uh, and if we place a little tiny drop of the botox right here okay right under uh above the tarsal, tarsal plate what is going to get so it's going to help you to actually soften this whole um this whole appearance of the eye okay so also around the eyes we um we have tendency to do a lot of the micro botox so micro botox is those little tiny tiny little droplets uh i don't know if you can see it so those tiny little droplets they will help you to soften the appearance of the um eye when you smile okay so we have to be very cautious not to affect those two uh muscles which is um, zygomaticus minor and the zygomaticus major okay so you see how close they are to actually orbicularis oris so we need to be very very cautious when we do the injections because in this case if the diffusion of the botox is going to happen to these muscles then she is going to have a droopy corner almost like the stroke uh, stroke appearance okay so, okay so bunny lines okay squint your nose for me big time like oh, oh you see that's bunny lines <laughs> those are very cute ones okay so many of our patients they 
do not like to have those lines uh, and actually um, I, I definitely I think they're quite very cute but um, you know if you don't like it then we can definitely soften we're going to do a little bit of the Botox right here um, and that will help you not to contract this muscle a lot but have to be very cautious not to inject uh, quite low because uh, a device again is going to affect the corner of the mouth okay uh, so uh, many of our patients they lie they have uh, vertical lines which we call smoke smoking uh, smoke lines even if you have never smoked before uh, you still might have those little vertical lines above the lips so what we like to do we like to prevent so everything is about prevention we like to prevent those little lines from formation or to soften the ex existing ones so what we're going to do we're going to affair we're going to place a little droplets of the Botox right above the uh, lip and that will help us to smooth up the whole uh, the whole upper lip okay also at the same time it's it can help you to actually elevate the lip and give you a little bit of the version which many of the uh, clients like mm -hmm. Okay, so gummy smile. It's a smile from a big time. Big. So, well, she doesn't have a gummy smile, but many of our patients, they like to uh, address the gummy smile. So, for the gummy smile, uh, we're going to use uh, injection right by the nose, right here. Okay, one right here and one right there. Okay, so, well, hopefully you can see it very well. So, basically what we're doing, so we're um, affecting the LLS muscle uh, and that help us to drop the muscle to drop the upper lip a little lower so when you smile but of course you need to do the combination with the um with the fella as well too but it's quite a very very nice um very nice treatment okay mm -hmm. okay so dimple chin or uh scrotum chin <laughs> there are many different names for for this uh, really um uh, small area okay so when uh when somebody is talking um this area can create lots of dimpling so what we like to do there are different methods how to do the botox uh, in this area so the most common is to do um just uh, just about a few units right here in the belly okay and i usually like to get a little drop above it so because sometimes this this muscle is quite quite very superficial so i do those two little superficial injections so many practitioners they do one very, very big um amount of the product over here right in the middle so but it depends um depends how you like to treat your patients okay mm -hmm. Okay, so many of the patients they like to uh, have a little bit elevated of the uh, elevation in the corners of the mouth, um, and you know in many patients uh, this area quite very active. So this uh, this muscle is the DAO muscle, um, and if we will put a little drop a little drop of the product um, with the Botox right here in this area, answering for me right there. So this is actually going to release the pool from the corners. Okay, and smile for me big. Okay, and make a frown face, like a frown, like oh, yeah. <laughs> so when you make the frown face, so actually, so this, uh, the, a little bit of the neurotoxin is going to release uh, the uh, muscle and it's going to make the patient a little bit, um, a little bit more relaxed. Okay, so that's two points, all right. so bite for me big time okay so this is actually this is the whole muscle which we like to treat so this is that extended muscle we did not draw all the way um to the corner but um so you can see how large is this muscle okay so when i like her to so when she bites i actually i'm assessing the whole width of that muscles and, and and i like to be very safe so my injection points are going to be, be below this line which goes from from the ear all the way to the uh, to the corner of the mouth okay stop 
Okay, so when we're going to mark um, our uh, our points, we have to make sure that we actually, we're not going to affect the rhizoris muscle, okay? So with that being said, so it's a very, 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 very unique um, marking here, okay? So usually we mark all the way from the triggers, from the mid triggers all the way to the corner of the mouth, and you can see how, how close this muscle is actually coming to the masseter. Okay, so I'm asking patient to bite V big, like bite from a big tongue. Okay, so this is exactly her muscle. Okay, so this little square is going to be my target. And of course, I'm going to find uh, the bigger, the highest point. Uh, so we're trying to go with the um, longer needle to affect that thick muscle and to develop um, that, uh, to help her to, to have a little bit more of the atrophy. Okay, so my injection points uh, for every patient can be very different. Okay, but most of the times I do five injection points and one is going to be right here in the middle so five injection points is going to be in the masseter however um everybody is very different so it might be only three points so depending on the width and depending on how large the patient muscle is so approximate cut amount which we usually use in our practice and of course everybody different and um you know it all um, you know, it all actually individual per patient. So forehead can take uh, 8 to 20 units of the Botox. Okay, so frown lines can take uh, about 20, I'll say 20 on average, but it can go in, in somebody who is very strong can go up to 25 units. Okay, so um, brow lift, brow lift is usually three units if we're going to do only lateral side, but however, when we're going to calculate those three points together okay so one two and three so this is going to be affecting the brow lift okay so it's going so it can be about um so three and two three and four so it's going to be seven and two so about 10 units for brow lift for one eye so 20 units because we have two eyes okay so it's going to be for the brow lift so for the whole eye so it also varies so it can be from um, I'll say about on average about 10 units, but uh, in someone it can be up to 15. So 10 to 15 units, but of course in younger people it can be uh, a lot different. Okay, so a lot smaller. So under the eye here, so jelly roll takes only uh, about two units of the Botox. Uh, a little droplets under the eye just to prevent those little uh, fine lines. So it can be about three units of the Botox. Okay, so bunny lines about six. Um, so to drop the, uh, so for the gummy smile, so to drop the upper lip, so we usually do three and three, so six units. For the upper lip, we do, uh, it depends, so it can be from four to um, to 10 units uh, of the Botox uh, total for both sides. Um, typically, we use about uh, six to 10 units in the chin. DO usually doesn't take too many, so we use three and three, it's six units. Okay, here comes a big expensive uh, treatment, which really actually quite very life changing. So we typically use about 50 units per side, so 50 units, five zero. Okay, so there'll be 50 and 50, so it's 100 units of Botox for somebody who really want to have very nice slim face.